Alright, what's going on guys? I am bringing you a 134-0 spawn trap on the map Nuketown 2025. And this is a fucking sexy ass gameplay. And you're about to see something here that uh, you may have seen before. I uploaded a clip of this. But this is the full gameplay where that clip came from and everything. And that is the AGR. And basically, in Nuketown, the main spawn is right there in the back fence, of course. And the way it works is in Black Ops 2 is if you try to push back here with your body, like with your person, it, it'll flip the spawn because it's not fixed spawn points anymore in Demolition. But basically, my AGR being back here, pretty much they don't even notice it. The, um, the spawn system does not recognize this as a real person or whatever. So I can just chill back here with the AGR. And if you rewind a little bit, you'll notice I came into the AGR with 10 kills and I will end up coming out of it at the end of this round with 63 kills so that was a 53 kill AGR and uh, pretty fucking insane man really really sick AGR right here look at that like quad feed with it man just going in absolutely and um, so pretty much my setup in this video um, this is way before the patch with the FAL so I'm using the FAL with the sexy diamond camo on it and using select fire and stock on it along with hardline flak jacket scavenger no actually not even toughness and uh, tag mask. That's pretty much typical setup you want to see on Nuke Talent. And I'm running Guardian, AGR, and Warship. And actually, this is because I was testing something out with Guardian. And uh, you actually don't want to put them down. Actually, ends up flipping the spawns. But uh, I was just testing it out to see if it would or not. And it actually does. So do not run Guardians if you want to keep them in the spawns. Um, if I wasn't running Guardian, I'd probably just either be running VSAT or Dogs. And uh, that's pretty much typical kill streaks for a new town that you want to use. Right here, the warship is up, taking my kills as well, or else I could have got a lot more kills with this AGR. And uh, that's pretty much what you want to do with the back spawns, man. Just shoot at them with the warship, AGR, load star. It don't matter, man. That's where you get your kill feed at on Nuketown. And right here, you can see I have 63 kills, and I finished this game 134 to zero. So definitely pretty good. I fast forwarded right there to the second round. Just got in my warship, and I'm gonna go ahead and call on another AGR. And I wasn't sure if, if I should like skip the AGRs or fast forward them or whatever. And actually, I can't fast forward kill streaks right now because something is wrong with my iMovie to where if I try to fast forward a clip, it like fucks it up and it makes like a gray screen and I can't even look at it and it like freezes. So um, if you guys know why the hell it's doing that, let me know. But I I really don't know. So I either have two options: either show the whole thing or cut it out. So I chose to cut out the warships but show the AGRs because I think that's something new. That you guys haven't really been seeing before anywhere, unless you saw that clip I uploaded, of course. And uh, I also uploaded a clip way before with the dragon fire showing the exact same thing. But the AGR is better because it doesn't have a time limit to where it has to get like automatically destroyed. It has to physically be destroyed by someone or something like that. I'm pretty sure at least it might go out on its own, but I haven't noticed like a specific time, so I don't know. But uh, I'm pretty sure that it can stay up the whole time if you want it to. And yeah, I'm gonna basically do the same thing. But this side isn't as good for it. Um, the other side is definitely better. This side is a little bit more spaced out. There's a few more spawns and stuff, so they don't spawn as heavy in the back. But um, I still go to work a little bit with it, so definitely worth it. And actually, I'll show you guys at the end of this gameplay. Um, I show the uh, medals and stuff because people always ask me to show like the medals. I wish I could show you guys the XP, but um, I was already level 55 in this, and when you're level 55, it just shows zero XP earned. And so I can't really show you that, but I get 78 kills with the AGR in this gameplay. Yeah, 78 kills. That's pretty crazy. Probably the most kills ever anyone's gotten kind of with the AGR. But um, pretty fucking sick, man, in my opinion. And I know you guys have been really been asking me for a Nuketown spawn trap. And I kind of held off on it a little bit because I didn't want to just upload a typical, you know, 105 and 5 or something on Nuketown. Because it is Nuketown, and I want to upload something really exceptional. And I feel like this fits that description pretty good, man. 134 and 0. I think four of us hit 100 plus in this. A couple hundred fifties in this as well. Funny thing is, I had 134 and 0, but I was the bottom of the scoreboard, uh, score-wise. So that's pretty funny. I think it's because a lot of my kills came in the AGR, and you only get 25 for uh, 25 score per kill instead of 100 for a gun kill or whatever. So that's probably the explanation for that. And I actually. If you guys want, I can do a tutorial because Nuketown is actually one of the few maps in Black Ops 2 and Demo where everyone kind of really has a spawn point. It's not just, um, you know, just chilling back and kind of containing them. 
we actually do have spawn points where they spawn in front of you and stuff so if you guys would like a tutorial go ahead and give me a like right on this video and leave it in the comments and I can do one and uh, it's very similar to Black Ops 1 a few changes but um, you can definitely hold it down man and it's it's really fun and probably my favorite thing to do in demo is Nuketown but the only problem is you have to get it in the uh, Chaos Mosh Pit playlist or during Double XP Weekend when they add Nuketown playlist back and the one thing about those playlists is you get a lot of tryhards you don't really get those like noobs like the level 20 split screeners with just run around with like a small trying to shoot down kill streaks you, you don't get those type of players pretty much all we play is full parties in Nuketown and right here you can see on their team there's nobody on their team that has not prestiged so I mean it's just it's it's how it goes in that playlist so it makes our job a little bit difficult to try to you know get these guys in there because they're typically at least not retarded players you know, they at least have a basic understanding of the game and they, they know they don't want to get spawn trapped so they try their hardest to not get spawn trapped but eventually we do end up you know getting them in there and then they all leave so I don't know Right here you can see I'm only playing three people, so I mean, that's the disadvantages of 6v6, but you know, what can you do? Still pulled off 134 no, so I'm happy about that. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. All I wanted to say for the video covering Newtown and stuff, I pretty much split the whole video in the AGR, so I don't know. Next video, if I ever upload Newtown again, I will definitely cut out the AGRs. I just left them in on this one because I wanted you guys to kind of see how it works. And I feel you guys would be curious about that, because <laughs> this is like never before seen stuff, so I don't know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And right here, where you can see my teammate right there standing, that's one of the spawn points that you can watch, but he's blocking it because he's in a kill streak right now. And right here, I'm just trying to get my warship. So I'm just like wall banging him, because they're not letting anyone out because they got the kill streak shooting at him. So I'm just trying to like wall bang it, do whatever I can to uh, get this one kill to get the warship so I can finish off the game with the warship, and uh, that's pretty nice. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the gameplay, guys. All I really wanted to say, 134 no, man. So, 134 kill streak as well. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure what my gun streak was in this. Um, I'll see if it shows a nuclear medal. Because I am going to show the medals at the end of this. So, I'm not sure if I went nuclear or not. I did get a bunch of kill streak kills. I'm thinking I, I did, maybe? I, I really don't know, man. It'll be in the title if I did. But, oh, right there, I just got the brutal. So, I'm not sure if I got nuclear then, because... I ended up finishing this game in the warships, so I probably didn't get nuclear. Huh, I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a like rating if you enjoyed. That would be much appreciated. And let me know about that tutorial. Because uh, I can definitely get like a really good one done. Because there are like set spawns and everything. Um, that's the only reason I didn't really do it for our maps. Is because it's not so much set up. We just kind of you know go wherever and do our thing. But uh, this map is a little bit different. as so we do have set spawns. Here's the kill cam here. I'll take you guys to the uh, medals and stuff so you guys can see that we all rushed to spawn as the game ended, trying to get some free kills there. But uh, he ended up dying rushing the spawn, so probably wasn't a good idea. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so here are the medals in like three seconds, whenever it wants to pull up. And right there, you see 134. No, and I'm at the bottom. The guy with 67 kills has more score than me. It's pretty funny. And uh, yeah. Let's see, I don't know, I guess I went on Relentless, I don't even know, but right there you see 78 bouncers, that's the AGRs. Thanks for watching, have a good day, peace out.